Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you today. It's a cool DIY you guys can make at home. Super easy and all natural. So 100% natural ingredients and it is a wonderful skin exfoliant. So I, you know what I'll be making today from the title of this video which is some sugar scrub cubes. So hopefully they go well. I'm using a little silicon tray today to put them in so this is something you guys will need. The reason why I recommend silicon is because you can just pop them out which means that you don't have to go through so much trouble of trying to bang them out afterwards. Uh, the recipe does call for some shea butter soap but I just have your plain regular shea butter with me today so I'll just be using that and I'm hoping fingers crossed that it will still be just as good but we'll soon find out. So without further ado let's get straight into this recipe. One of the other ingredients we're adding as well is some lavender which just gives it a nice calming feel to the sugar scrub cubes. Every time you go to use it you'll have that beautiful lavender scent and it's supposed to be really helpful in calming and soothing. You can find the recipe in the description below for referral later on when you want to go to make it again so you don't have to watch this whole video through. And yeah, we'll get straight into making it. So what you're going to need to start off with is to make a double boiler finally got that right, with your bowl and saucepan underneath with some hot water boiling. So I'm going to do that now just on my stove top over there. There we go. So once the water has started heating through, it will heat the bowl and I'll add in my oil and shea butter. So add the coconut oil. You use solid coconut oil for this one because you're just going to melt it with the shea butter together. And then the shea butter or shea butter soap flakes. So if you're using shea butter slope, you just need to sh uh, grate it up with like a soap grater and pop that in. But I'm just using normal shea butter, so I've just left it as is as it will melt down. So I'm just going to let that melt for about 10 minutes or so or until the oil and the shea butter have melted down. You'll need to stir it every so often during that time. And then once that's done, I'll show you what to do next. So that is done, so I'm just going to turn it off heat. And let that sit over here. That will stay melted for a little while. So I'm just going to quickly show you what to do next. And then we're going to combine that with the dry ingredients. Alrighty, so in another bowl, you're going to combine the sugar. I'm using white sugar today as the granules are a little bit smaller. So they're a bit gentler compared to, say, brown sugar, which have bigger granules. So they're a bit stronger, I guess, on skin. So I'm going to add that to my bowl, just one cup. And then 40 drops of lavender essential oil. So quite a lot, but it makes it smell amazing. You can already smell it. It smells so good. Oh, I love, 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 love lavender essential oil. <laughs> That'll do. Now you're going to grab your oil mix just here and pour that into the sugar bowl. And then using a fork, you're just going to whisk it together. And there we go, it's all ready to pour into your silicone molds just like these ones. So I'm going to scoop the mixture in and press down really hard on the sugar in the silicone mold to make sure that it sticks firmly together so that when I pop them out a little later, they hold and they don't crumble apart. I'll try not to make a mess of things, hopefully. Alright, so now that they're done, I'm going to let them set in the fridge for around 30 minutes or so or until they've set and they're easy to just pop out. And that is it. It is such an easy recipe and they come out looking amazing. I'm so happy they turned out really well with the shea butter and not the shea butter soap. So that was really, really good. They are so um, great for exfoliating with. I find it more gentle than some other uh, conventional exfoliators you may buy and a bit softer than using a salt exfoliator because I've used that before and I found that's a bit more abrasive on my skin. So yeah, and they smell so good. That lavender comes out so strong, it smells amazing. I love using these, I say, after I've had laser or something and to exfoliate the like hairs, I guess, out of my skin that may be left behind. So I find that really helpful. So if you guys do that as well and find that you get those 
hairs remaining under your skin that take ages to come through and then kind of wear away but yeah that's really helpful to use as well because it's a good, good exfoliator to get that out and still gentle on skin and it leaves such a lovely scent behind which is great today's huge 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 shout out goes to Kashi Kelly thank you so much for watching my video on my healing cream my healing balm video I'm so glad you liked it thank you for saying how nice my hair looked I was like super conscious of it being shorter so thank you so much I'm so glad you guys have enjoyed my videos thank you so much for watching and for leaving such lovely comments it means so much to me I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you guys again in my future videos Bye.